we'll hike north past it, uh -huh. then we'll head west, then we'll head south into it. What we've done out here is really bring together executives and special operations soldiers, all with different personal goals at different places in their life. But what's interesting is almost everybody's at a transformational moment. Moab Crucible, day three, here we are. The, the team has just come up a canyon and the team is really, really coming together. We've had great conversations with the veterans and helping them transition. They've shared a lot of what they've learned about effective teams that have a common purpose and a trust. And we're trying to figure out how does that translate to the business world? How do we accelerate teamwork? How do we help these guys transition? I had an idea of what we would do. I don't think I appreciated uh, the intensity of it and the fact that it would be so far outside, for most of us at least, our comfort zone. Yeah. Because hiking is one thing, but a lot of what we've done are other things that you have to kind of force yourself a little bit, but you also get a chance to bond with people in a way that you probably wouldn't before. I'm always on call. So this is kind of a, it's a cool feeling. I'm not looking at my emails, not looking at the daily sales reports. I'm not worrying about what procedures I have tomorrow or whatever it is. There's something romantic about coming out in, into the desert and the mountains or wherever you're at and just getting away. It took off yesterday at 12.30. We got here at 4.30 and I would probably say three out of those four hours I was out of my comfort zone. And maybe an hour of them, I was really out of my comfort zone. I survived it. I feel better because I did it. And it's funny, I, it opens us up. We're very vulnerable. I mean, we're telling each other stuff that we don't tell a lot of people. And that's really that's really interesting, the yep. dynamic that this yep. Yep. crucible creates. You know, I've been in the Army since I was 19. I'm 49 now. I'll get out in another year. It's kind of what I've done since I was a young man. Uh, so really, I'm kind of in my transition phase here. My wife and I are now just recently empty nesters, so we're transitioning as well. So the real test will be, you know, is this paid forward? Are the special operations soldiers going back into their communities and helping people understand that the teamwork, the project management, the leadership skills that they have, that those are absolutely transferable skills? And are the executives able to extract the recipe for accelerating team development in their own environments where there's camaraderie and there's shared accountability and standards for performance. I'm writing a book and, and some of the things I talk about in the book, it makes me what I said and how I said it. And I think it probably does force you to kind of look inward a lot. And that's half the battle. This weekend, this opportunity is really a neat, natural kind of uh, transition point, I think. One, because I love the outdoors, and I love doing stuff like this. And two, I love leadership and learning from folks that are, that are out there tackling you know, their own challenges. Uh, so this is a neat combination of both. When I saw the challenge ahead of us, I didn't think it was gonna do it, but you know, with the expert guidance of the uh, climbing guides that we have and, and the encouragement of everybody else, it was really a wonderful experience.